Hello everyone, it's Rita, and today I'm going to be doing some things with the um, the bee, Vintage Bee Journal. And I have so far put some eyelets in here that were not working really well. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Every time I go to do eyelets, there's one or two that just will not work out. In fact, my crocodile got um, stuck with an eyelid and I can't even get it off the, let me see where, see, I can't even get that off. I've tried pliers and everything and it took me forever to get it out of the book and redo it. And then this all just came off, which I know that can be put back. But anyway, so I was not very happy about that. So what I wanted to do though is, um, I have this paper bag and I thought I coffee got dyed it and I thought I'd put it in the journal you know how we used to put paper bags in all the time I don't know I haven't done it and I don't know how long so I'm going to stencil on here with this um, I just uh, cleaned it because I, I tested it and you have to dry the paint off right away. I got this at Hobby Lobby. They're, they're um, the plastic sort of cling on stencils. Those, that's pretty wet. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it. I was just getting the top. And this is, um, when you get this wet, it resticks, so you don't have to worry about losing its stickiness but it keeps it in place so I thought I would just line it up on this and I'm doing this um, first before any other stuff on this video because I want it to dry okay so I don't know how many wings will be cut off but this kind of looks center or does it Maybe I can do it this way easier. Yeah, I'll just use this, um, the back of this line as a guide to center it, which that's not totally in the center, but yeah, okay. I want to do the back too, so. Okay, so now we're going to get this laid down nice and firm so that our stencil doesn't move. Now, I tried this with um, black soot um, ink and it did not work at all. So I then pulled out my paint and it um, came out really nice. So I'm just going to find the what I can see that's brown. I'm thinking this might take longer than I thought. I may have to put, the, put it on pause. Now in this one, normally when I'm stenciling like this, I would not use this much paint but I found that these stencils require more paint than other stencils to get a vivid color okay I'll do one more and then I'll pause it and finish the rest so I'm thinking what am I gonna do with this B stencil Whoops, and now I think I got too much. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, because when you're doing a regular stencil, you kind of want a dry brush because it will bleed through. Oops. I'm going to stencil my desk as well. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause, and then I'll finish this side, 
and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I'm going to pull this off while you're with me. Um, hopefully it, it came out okay. It's probably going to be a little spare somewhere here and there, but that's the vintage look. But you don't want to leave it, I don't think, on here dry, too dry, because you need to get this uh, stencil in water as soon as you can. Otherwise, it'll clog up all of the holes. So, oh, come on, come on, come on. So I'm just going to pull it as carefully as I can. Yeah, that came out a little bit messier there. It's hard to see. You don't know really if you got it covered or not. It's always hard to work with because it goes everywhere. Okay, I'll just set it back on that plastic for a minute. Okay, so I think it's cute, even though it's kind of like thicker in other places than. Whoops, I don't want that ink on my. Hold on a second. Leave it to me to be a mess. Okay, I don't think I can do the other side until I've washed that stencil out because it won't probably re-stencil very quickly. So I'll put you on pause. Um, I'll try to dry this and re-stencil the, the back and then I'll be done with it. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I was thinking about this and I'm as I was washing out the silk screen and then it made me think that I'm just going to check here for some uh, that it is maybe more of a silk screen process than a stamping or a what do you call it uh, brush on so I'm going to try that so I'm trying to see I can't see the, pla the uh, paper bag very well but it doesn't matter okay so I'm just going to over this with paint. I know you're supposed to like spread it from the top and down but I think I've only tried to um, <clears throat> screen paint once in my lifetime. can get that lifted up. Hmm. Still kind of got in there too thick. I wonder why that happened. I'm not crazy about that. I don't know if I can lay it back down now.
just going over this again to see. I know it's always trial and error on my <laughs> my channel, but I only do things once. I don't. Oh, yeah, that's really messy. Ugh. Well, I think I have another paper bag. Dang. Why can't it come out crispy? And I made sure it was dry. There's no paint, no wetness on here. Okay. Well, like I said, I have another uh, paper bag. So maybe and this side is dry, which it looks okay on that side. Hold on, I'm going to dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, it didn't turn out so so <laughs> good on the back side. I guess it's not a, it's not like a screen print like I thought. So, maybe um this side looks fine and maybe I'll just cover this side with some other stuff. Let's see. But anyway, I wanted to fold it into and put it in the book. So I'll, I'll see what I'm going to do with that. Okay. So here we are with this book. Now, remember I told you that it kind of messed up over here? So I took some of my um, little rings, um, hole protectors, and I thought I might just put those around it just to give it that extra uh, added little, well design plus hide is it going to stick that good I, th I thought I would have to restick them and just put a little more glue on here and to restick these and I think I told you that I was going to make this a elastic spines because I think you could use this uh, for things you want to add to the journal. More pages, I mean. Because I, you know, I think like a recipe uh, book kind of thing. That needs a cover. Gonna act like it won't fit. I'll just have to work it around it. You know, you probably could do this even if you didn't have eyelets and you just punched your holes and put these on both sides. Because usually, you know, the spine itself is pretty strong. I don't think it would rip out. Like if you're doing a tag, it would, you know, it could rip out. If you... Well, I use those on, these on tags too, so I don't know. I hope that's gonna stick. There's always gotta be one that has to cause a problem. I can't imagine if I was trying to make cards nowadays. I couldn't possibly do it where they're all nice and even. At the end, uh, when I started watching people make junk journals, and I was making cards for a shop that I had a little space in, um, I started making them like a journal, um, like a page. Oh, come on. You know, I'd use a digital, like, you know, like that, and, you know, put happy birthday or whatever I put on my card. Okay, so that's done. And these sides, they're not bad, too bad at all. It looks like it's coming up right there. And 
I missed a little spot right there where I collaged. I was kind of hoping ink would cover it, but it doesn't look like it, so it might not look so bad once I get the string in. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to just make this twice the size. I think that's good enough. It's not all recut. Now, I'm going to try this trick that um, Kathy at Nonstop Mom shared on our uh, Facebook group, Junk Journal in a Day. And um, how to tie your ties so they are tight. So... I think I'm going to, I got these beads from Timu. I think they're from Timu. And um, they're very white. So I took my antiquing, or my um, alcohol ink, and it's called yellow okra. The, this is the color I use on my cellophane tape to make it look vintage. And um, I just colored them. The outside there's little sunflowers on these beads but I thought they would be cute so I'm gonna put a couple beads okay so Kathy showed you go across around like this and then you go around again and that holds your string tighter and you can go around another time if you want it even tighter and then you can tie your bow because otherwise it just keeps coming undone. Is that the bow? Oh, shoot. <laughs> you have to be able to tie. <laughs> one, let's see, one, two, I'm gonna go over three so it's nice and tight. Uh, let's just make a knot there and then a bow. Maybe that's... I don't think we need a bow. Okay, so... I wonder if I want that a little tighter, though. Well, I guess those little beads are going to keep it from tightening up. That's okay though. I think it'll hold. Just make sure these are not cut too short. Okay. I think it works probably better doing the twist around on ribbon or um, jute twine or something or you know when you're making um, bows on tags or something like that but I was I just really thought it was a cool idea I don't know so many tricks okay so I'm gonna go one tighten it a little bit Three. And she tried to explain it to me, um, you know, uh, through messages and stuff. And I could not figure out what she was really, I couldn't visualize it, you know. I, if I, should, I don't want it to be a big knot there. And so then when I saw it on Facebook... So if you go over to Facebook, I'm sure you can find the video. I also have put a little video on there, um, a short video that is um, how to use the pokey tool to rip your papers. If you have any kind of hand issues, arthritis or 
something like that. I think it would be really helpful because I know my hands get tired when I'm ripping a lot of paper. So there's one, two, three. Not okay, the journal is done. I'm just kidding. So I put the little beads two and three. I don't know, maybe I should glue them or just leave them. I don't know. Eventually, they'll just fall to the bottom, I'm sure. But I don't care. I think it looks cute. Okay. That is the front. All right. So now, how much time do I have? I have... Oh, good, good, good. All right. So I thought I would um, put some pages in and see. <laughs> it's, it's kind of bumpy. Okay, I'm good for bumping, bumpy papers. All right. Um, I don't know if I want to ink that. Well, I guess I'll put these papers in. Come back and ink. I had these all opened up. It doesn't really matter what order I put them in now because I will maybe come back and re readjust them. If I want that to be a center, I probably would rather have a B or something. I just want to see how this is all going to work. Okay, so those might have to cut down a little bit on that one, and this one I definitely do. So I'm going to. That's right. So I keep these pages for my little notebooks. Every time I have to cut these off. Okay, so let's see. There's not a lot of designer pages in here. Hmm. Lots of journaling space. Okay. That's my next one. 
I'm just going to fold this up here. And I'm going to fold this one up. This is the page that I did that uh, rust. I ran it through my um, Sizzix embossed, I like embossing it without an embossing folder. Okay, so that's kind of ugly. <laughs> Let's do this this way and at least get that design in the center for now. And these things, too, when you buy a journal like this, um, you know, not necessarily from me, but from anyone that, you know, you can see there's a lot uh, in the journal. And it is done with the, um, what do you call it, pages, the elastic pages. Then uh, you can always take all that out and add it to your ephemera. You know, if you just find a good deal, sometimes some there's some good deals on journals here and there. down since it's not that much extra. I always have to leave that ink warm. Okay. And let's bag in the center and right now I don't know what I'm gonna do with it um, probably I probably could glue this part down and make a pocket there with this and leave this side well you can't really write on this side so, I might just end up gluing them both down. Let's put them in a different... So if I glue it down, it would be glued down to this side. And this side. Okay. For the moment... So 
I think there's, I know there's at least 10 pages in each one of these uh, signatures. There's three signatures. I was going to make this B one really simple, but it didn't happen. I'll get used to where the pages are once it gets cool. So we can put a lot of um, stuff in here. Oh, this one's too long. Hmm. Have to cut that one off a little. Hmm. Someone mentioned that there that one of the journals I did there wasn't I think it was a strawberry that it wasn't that much ephemera. But as I I went and checked it out again to see, and there was at least ten or fifteen ten or 12 pieces of ephemera for one signature. I thought that was quite a bit, but I don't know what's the average, What what is it? Um, most people don't list how much ephemera they put in. Some do. And I don't look for journals for sale anymore. I don't, I don't know. I think the value of journals are all over the board. Some people um, charge, quite a bit but they do put a lot of um, in their journals they do and so they deserve to get something like that now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put on here so I don't know if I have anything except this you know I don't know I think some maybe it's a little cutesy. I thought about padding it, you know, so it's like around a piece of cardboard and putting some like stuffing in it. Um I could always do a little frame or something like that. Yeah, don't mind. I don't have too many big frames left of Tim Holtz. I don't want it curly cute on the edges. I want it to be straight. Oops. I have these cute little wood ones, but they're very curly. If I want to make this, I do like the colors. How would they look with my button colors? Where's my B button? My, what happened to my B button? Did I use it? That's weird. I don't know. Are any of these a B? Well, this one is. But it's not. Oh, I know. The one I punched black didn't turn out. There's something about the colors I did this in. I like it when it's got more of a black tone to it. So that one could work. Doesn't have a B on it, but for closure. Okay. 
Um, let me put you on pause for a couple seconds and I'm going to get something to mount this on. I wonder if I should just so you see I can't think I'm not thinking because I can't uh, it's not coming to me you know what I mean <laughs> right now it is not coming to me hmm maybe we could do like doors that open oh I know we could do the beehive shape hmm I was thinking with black fabric. Or what color is one of those septic? What do they call them? Not septics. I don't know. A B something. Just looking to see if I had anything in here that would be cute. And a friend of mine gave me some bees uh, labels too. I gotta look at those and see what they look like. Okay, um, let me put you on pause for a second and see what I can come up with. Okay. Okay, I'm back for a few minutes. Um, so I found a piece of cardstock uh, cereal box, and. Um, this piece of fabric I have is a little smaller than I wanted, so I had to cut this down, but I think it'll work. I, I'm not sure what I'll do, but um, I think I like that. So what I'm going to do here is just, um, this is uh, just a cotton batting that I use for quilting uh, scrap, and I'm just going to glue that on real quick because I'm going to cut around it. Yeah. yeah, that'll work. I'll just do that. So, um, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's coming up with ideas. I, I noticed a lot of people probably are in a slump at this point. Um, summertime, it, it gets... Um, I don't know. It just, um, there, there's so much to do outside, like with plants and that. I've been trying to put, um, mulch down, which I can only do, you know, a couple minutes at a time because I, I can't stand up that long or, but, um, now I need like three more bags and huh, I just hate that because I never can finish a project all at once. I always have to keep running back to the hardware store. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on here like so. And I'm going to probably cut this down a little bit more because I don't need that much hanging over. That'll be a nice little extra piece we can put. Seems like I forget to use all the little things I see I'm going to I'm going to try and use. Okay, so I'm going to do this the way I usually do. And let me get my glue stick. And so I want to cut. Let me think about it. Yes, I need to cut this little corner out. That gets rid of some of that bulk there. I'm 
just going to test it out, make sure I have enough here to work with. Okay. Cut a little of this one out. Just, um, I'm going to leave like an eighth of an inch or less. Go to the bottom, clean this up. Now here, if you can, you might want to put some glue out here just to get that to lay down properly. this down You just sort of wing it. You just want to make sure that the corners are covered. I'm so used to doing this with paper. It's a little different with fabric. That going down. It's okay if it's not perfect in the back because you're not going to see it. But that's pretty good. I just like my corners to be as nice as I can get them. Okay. Glue all over my hands black all over my <laughs> my white okay all right now so I'm thinking that this would go here um, and I have this burlap that uh, Lisa sent me I think she sent this too. Um, with these, um, I guess they're a bee. Yeah. They kind of look like a fly. I don't know. It's hard to tell the difference. Um, yeah, it's a bee. So I thought I might be able to put that and then put this over the top because I like the burlap, but then I don't, you can't see one bee. So, I could put a bee sort of centered on here, like down here at the bottom, and I have all this black lace. I have these things. I don't know where I got those, but they're kind of cool. I might use those on a page or something. Um, I also have uh, some sunflowers that she sent. I don't know. 
So if I get that B down there at the bottom, um, then I need something for here. I have... Those are nice flowers. Those I got from... Hold on, I think... I thought I pulled out some more flowers. I'll put them in here. I don't want purple ones, I don't think. I could always go and print out more flowers. Hmm. I think that's all I pulled out, just a few yellow ones. All right, let's just check the time. A couple minutes. All right, I'm going to... I want to, I want that burlap underneath. Hmm. I have to press this too. Okay, so let's see if I cut it. Could have covered it with this. And then I don't know what I would do. <sighs> All right, I'm just going to cut it out right here. I know there's one B there. I'll just. Makes it harder to work on this when it's um, going downhill because there's not anything in it yet. Um, what do I have that can be Just something to? There we go. That helps. Okay, so I have that. thinking I have to press this so it lays flat but I'm thinking about and that's too big right there like to get at least two bees on this spine. Cut it right here. That still might be a little too long.
Lisa was so nice to send this to me. I'd like to use it. like that I think I need to cut it down just a tad more or rip off a few strings maybe that's okay I feel like I lose the darn bee up here and then we have one going around to the back so now if I could do it that way and then put this here somewhere Maybe that's too busy for that. Um, I have this also, this trim. I want to use these in this book, but. Um, Instead of a bee, it's got a ladybug. <laughs> but I guess they they get along. Um, I had a journal card, I thought, sitting out here somewhere that... Okay, that goes in my other embellishing things. I don't know what I do with that journal card. I thought it was a bee. You know, it takes me a matter of two seconds to lose. Oh, there it is, upside down. Okay, kind of like this guy. Yeah, let's see. I'm afraid that's too much. Um, I don't want to hide them. I'm thinking the only thing I could do is put a layer of black. But I, I have to go in the other room and find that. Um, I have black fabric, but do I have... Let me see. Maybe I should just do it with this. I don't know, that doesn't look too bad, but I don't know. I'm not crazy about that black fabric, I think. All right, well, it's going to take me a while to kind of get a uh, look for things. And I think I'm going to sew around this part for sure. And I kind of like this on there, but then I might like some black. No, oh, that's a little much. <laughs> I like this one with the orange in it. It's like a salvage edge that I saved. I probably stick underneath here. That's kind of cute, that, that light. Hmm. I'm talking soft, I'm sorry. 
And then I have to think about a closure, although I don't think it needs one because it's going to lay flat. But I could stick something back there. Okay, well, I can't, I can't see it. It's not, you know, coming to me at the moment. But, I mean, even this little guy looks cute up here. Maybe not with that, but... But you don't usually use the front of your journal to journal on, you know, inside there. Um, but it kind of blends in really well. I could cut this out again. The, I mean, I could print that digital. I like this one too. Okay, well, I'm going to have to sew. I think that might, something like that might work. And I could find something else to put up here. I need a hexagon, like B hexagon. I could make a hexagon out of one of these pieces. All right, guys, I'm going to go and think about it and then um, and then we'll go back in the next video. But I think that's cute there. I like that. Kind of gives it a little, kind of holds these beads in place too. They don't fall down now. I hope that's the right color burlap for it. You know, even burlap has its own has different colors several all right guys thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video okay bye